Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Vamos a esperar que se conecten. Bueno, que ya nos pasamos tres minutos, pero vamos a, espero que, fíjense que en la clase de las ocho tuve bien poquito, ya, ya la mayoría se agarró vacación, <ríe> ya hoy de último. ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? Yo me imagino que ya la mayoría ya, ya terminó, ya logró hacer el examen, ya, ya logró completar su 80% o más para poder pasar al siguiente módulo. Si hay alguien que todavía tiene una duda, pues hasta hoy a las 12 puede. Ok. Ok, let's start then. Today is class 16, our final review. Ok, this is our final class. Eh, ya la otra semana, eh, cuando empieza el módulo, ya, ya no serían P, P1, sino que P2. Entonces ya cambiamos un nuevo módulo, un nuevo nivel. Y en un mes, en 16 clases, pues creo que ustedes han podido ver la diferencia de lo que hemos aprendido. Ok. Uh, this is what we're going to do today to review vocabulary and grammar studied during the course. O sea que hoy vamos a hacer un, un, un repaso final. Hoy vamos a trabajar listening, vamos a trabajar reading y vamos a trabajar writing. Ahí dice final exam, pero ese no. Ya lo hicimos ayer. Ok, eh, quiero ver si sí, solo nueve somos, miren. A ver si se conectan los demás. De 30 que había en el primer día, 30 o más. Lo importante es que los que están aquí somos los que tenemos que estar. Ok, how do you spell your name? We are going to watch a video. Ok, here is the video. Ok, and here we have the exercise. We're going to listen and check the spelling of the following names. Estos nombres que están aquí. If the spelling is wrong, we have to correct in the space here. ¿Ok? Entonces, cuando yo les ponga el video, nosotros tenemos que identificar si el spelling, el nombre que está aquí, la forma en que está escrita, coincide con la forma en que ellos lo deletrean. Si está correcto, well, it's ok. If it matches. If not, tenemos que escribir la, la forma correcta. Now, in this case, I'm going to play the video once for the first time. La, la primera vez, solamente escuchen. Dedíquense a escuchar y a tratar de comprender lo que ellos van diciendo. Ya la segunda vez, entonces sí podemos, digamos, si ustedes quieren ir anotando, pueden hacerlo. Ok, but the first time, just listen. Este es inglés real. Es una, es una en, entrevista real. Entonces, hay que empezar a buscar maneras de que ustedes tengan contacto con el idioma desde un inicio real, ¿ok? Para que sea más fácil uh, um, acostumbrar a su oído, ¿ok? So, I'm going to play the audio. ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, miss. Is it clear? Yes. And, and, okay, ok. Let me first share it. Hi, how are you? Very good. And yourself? I'm great. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Anna Sarah. How's that spelled? A N N A S A R A H. Hello, how are you? Permítanme, voy a ver. Mejor lo voy a regresar. No sé por qué no me está cargando. Vamos a ver. Hi, how are you? Very good. And yourself? I'm great. Thanks. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Anna Sarah. How's that spelled? A-N-N-A-S-A-R-A-H. 
Hello, how are you? I'm good, thanks. What's your name? Laura. How's that spelled? L-A-U-R-A. -A. Uh, what's your name? Shelly. How's that spelled? S-H-E-L-L-I. What's your name? My name is Joe. How is that spelled? J-O-E. What's your name? My name is Beth. How's that spelled? B-E-T-H. What's your name? My name is Sarah. How's that spelled? S-A-R-A-H. All right. Now, as you could see, they spell their names. Hay otra pregunta que ella les hizo. No les pregunto, how do you spell your name? What is the question that she asked? Can you, did you identify the question? How are you? How are you? No, pero the spelling. Eso sí se los preguntó. Pero la, la pregunta que ella utilizó para preguntar es spelling. La pregunta que ella hizo. Ella no preguntó, how do you spell your name? Ella utilizó otra forma. Uh, are you a spelling? How's that spelled? Ahí se los acabo de escribir. How's that spelled? Okay, that is another way to ask for spelling. Obviamente menciona el name porque en el contexto ellos ya saben que les está preguntando por su nombre. Okay, so this is another way to ask for spelling. Okay? Now, I'm going to play the audio, the video again. Y hoy sí, si ustedes quieren anotar, pueden hacerlo, porque después vamos a, entre todos, vamos a completar esta, esta tablita. Ok. Hi, how are you? Very good. And yourself? I'm great, thanks. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. What's your name? I'm Anna Sarah. How's that spelled? A-N-N-A-S-A-R-A-H. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thanks. What's your name? Laura. How's that spelled? L-A-U-R-A. -A. Uh, what's your name? Shelly. How's that spelled? S-H-E-L-L-I. What's your name? My name is Joe. How is that spelled? J-O-E. What's your name? My name is Beth. How's that spelled? B-E-T-H. What's your name? My name is Sarah. How's that spelled? S-A-R-A-H. All right. Now, let's complete the chart. Okay. Anna Sarah. Is that correct? Lo pronunció así? Yes. Oh. yes. yes it, it was right. Yes. How, how do you spell Anna Sarah? Volunteer, please. A M N A S A R R A H. Excellent. Okay, very good. How about number two? Laura, is it right or wrong? Wrong. Wrong, wrong. all right. Wrong. What is, so then, how do you spell Laura, Guillermo? Segundo uh, es L U R A. L U R A. Do you agree, classmates? Is it okay? Mm, Así como L A. No. Ajá. L A L A U U R A. -A. 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 Ajá. Laura. L A U R A. Oh. How about Shelly? Is it okay? Shelly. Wrong. Wrong. Okay, so then Wrong. How, Wrong. what is the correct spelling? ¿Cómo lo deletreó ella? S H B L S H Ajá. Y el el ajá. Ah, uh, Y. I. 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 No era Y porque está acá. Es. O sea, lo, lo, voy a, lo voy a aquí. S H E L L Y. Pero ella no lo deletrió así. Lo deletrió así. S H E L L I. Right? Now, number four. 
Is it okay? Right. Right. Yes. How about that? Right. 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 And Sarah? Wrong. 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 Mm. What is the correct? What is the correct spelling? S-A-R-A-H-I-A-D-N. -A 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 Very good. Yeah. All right. Now, let me, let me uh, play it again. Solamente esa parte para que ustedes los spelling. Hi, I'm fine, thank you. What's your name? I'm Anna Sarah. How's that spelled? A-N-N-A-S-A-R-A-H. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thanks. What's your name? Laura. How's that spelled? L-A-U-R-A. -A. Uh, what's your name? Shelly. How's that spelled? S-H-E-L-L-I. What's your name? My name is Joe. How's that spelled? J-O-E. What's your name? My name is Beth. How's that spelled? B-E-T-H. What's your name? My name is Sarah. How's that spelled? S-A-R-A-H. Okay, very good. I don't know if you have any questions about this exercise. No? No. Okay, now we reviewed the spelling, right? Now we're going to add the next question. Two questions. How old are you and where are you from? Acuérdense que hoy vamos a estar haciendo un review de todo. Ya repasamos el, el alfabeto. El alfabeto no, ya les dije, ya lo vimos en la clase número dos y hasta ahí ya no me preocupo por eso. No, it's something that you have to practice, okay? Every time you, you can practice the alphabet. Okay, how old are you and where are you from? Now, look at the chart, okay? In the chart, we have information. We have name, we have age, we have country or city, but some information is missing. Some information is missing. Okay, ustedes al escucharlo tienen que tratar de, con, de identificar qué es lo que falta ahí, solo que aquí hay un error. Let me correct it, because in the video, no es 33, it's 25, okay? So, for example, in the case of Beth, She's going to say the age and the country or city. Entonces, eso que le falta, ustedes tienen que identificarlo para que al final completemos la, la tabla. ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Is it clear? Yes. Okay, once again, I'm going to play the video yes. once. Only the first time. The first time, just listen. Okay, just listen. Solamente escuche. No se... No se por anotar. Lo que quiero es que usted escuche y trate de identificar y de comprender lo que ellos están hablando. ¿Ok? Y a la segunda vez usted puede anotar if you want. Ok. Let's, just give me a moment. Let's see. How old are you? 44. How old are you? I'm 49. How old are you? I'm 25. How old are you? Uh, 20, but almost 21 pretty soon. And how old are you? I'm 33. Where are you from? I'm from Mongolia. Where are you from? Columbus, Ohio. Where are you from? Uh, San Francisco. Where are you from? I was born on the East Coast outside of Washington, D.C., but now I live in Santa Monica. Where are you from? Uh, I was born in Taiwan, grew up in Dallas, Texas, and now I'm here for college. All right. Now, this is the information that they give, the name. Now you have the name. El nombre está abajo en una parte en la parte inferior del video. No sé si lo logran ver. Ok. Y luego ellos dicen, cuando les preguntan, how old are you and where are you from? They give that information. Ok. Let me play it again. 
en this time you can take notes. Hoy sí pueden tomar nota si gustan según lo que van escuchando. Are you ready? Yes. 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 How old are you? 34. How old are you? I'm 49. How old are you? I'm 25. How old are you? Uh, 20, but almost 21 pretty soon. And how old are you? I'm 33. Where are you from? I'm from Mongolia. Where are you from? Columbus, Ohio. Where are you from? Uh, San Francisco. Where are you from? I was born on the East Coast outside of Washington, D.C., but now I live in Santa Monica. Where are you from? Uh, I was born in Taiwan, grew up in Dallas, Texas, and now I'm here for college. All right. Now, are you ready to check or se los pongo una vez más? Una vez más, teacher. Okay, one more time. How old are you? 34. How old are you? I'm 49. How old are you? I'm 25. How old are you? Uh, 20, but almost 21 pretty soon. And how old are you? I'm 33. Where are you from? I'm from Mongolia. Where are you from? Columbus, Ohio. Where are you from? Uh, San Francisco. Where are you from? I was born on the East Coast outside of Washington, D.C., but now I live in Santa Monica. Where are you from? Uh, I was born in Taiwan, grew up in Dallas, Texas, and now I'm here for college. Are you a student? No, I'm not. What's your job? I'm a deputy sheriff. Cool. Okay, esa sí ya no. <laughs> okay, eh, let's, let's try to complete. Si ustedes no tienen toda la información porque iba muy rápido y no lo logré, don't worry. Si tiene algunas, está bien. La idea es que ahorita este, nos vayamos acostumbrando ya el oído a que eh, podamos captar cierta información. Okay, let's start with Beth. How old is she? She's 49. 40. 49, very good. And where is she from? She's from Ohio. She's from Washington, Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Santa Monica. I live in Santa Monica. Aha, and then she lives in Santa Monica right now. Okay, very good. Who, who lives in Columbus, Ohio? Shelly. Shelly. Shelly, very good. And how old is Shelly? 24. 24? 34? 33? 34. 34. 34. Shelly ends in Y. Excuse me? Shelly, with huh? Y. No, with, with I. Remember that we, that we learned in the previous exercises? Que no era con Y, sino que con I. Así lo de la... Okay. Uh -huh. uh, who is 25 and is from Mongolia? Sara. 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 Very good. Sara. Who, how old is Dust? 20. 20. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Almost, almost no, 21. 21. Así lo dijo. 20, almost 21. Ok. Se fijan que cuando estamos jóvenes, desde de, de adolescentes, así nos pasa. Es 15, casi 16. 18, casi 19. Pero cuando llegamos a una edad, ya no, ya no queremos decir ca, casi cuándo nos toca cumplir. Ok. Es como 20. Dígame. Yes. Es que 21 son casi la mayoría de edad ya. Ajá, ajá, entonces pero, así, pero así, no, así, no, así nos toca a nosotros también, a los, cuando estamos jóvenes así, la mayoría sí, así nos pasa, 18, 17, casi 18. Ok, 33, who is 33? Amir. Amir. 
Amir, okay. And where is he from? Francisco. Francisco. San Francisco. Okay, San Francisco. Very good. Now, this is all the information. Once again, if you didn't get everything, if you didn't get everything, that's okay. Si usted logró, aunque sea una o dos de esas, no importa. Eso, eso, eso es lo que, bueno, es lo contrario, es lo que importa. No es lo mismo no entender nada a por lo menos entender una palabrita. Entonces, eh, no se frustre si no lo entendió todo. Esto es así el, y, y en el nivel que estamos, aunque usted diga yo no entiendo nada, el oído se está acostumbrando. Poco a poco se va acostumbrando. Y lo importante aquí es que usted vaya aprendiendo también y acostumbrándose al inglés real. Si usted se fija, ellos es una entrevista en la calle, o sea, con gente que han detenido en la calle. Entonces, eh, va como más natural. Y la idea es que ustedes se acostumbren a eso, a, a, a escuchar ya inglés más nat natural en un ambiente real. All right. Eh, I don't know if you have any questions about this exercise. Preguntas. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll move to the next one. Now we have, how do you spell that? How old are you? Where are you from? And uh, we're going to work on a short reading task. Reading task. Here we have, well, it's identity cards, pero no, en realidad se llama, but it's personal information. Okay, I'm going to let you read the, the text, okay? And then together, we are going to answer the questions here. Okay, uh, two, three, two minutes, two, three minutes, I guess it's okay. Vamos a leer este texto. If there is a word that you don't know, new vocabulary, Please ask me, ¿ok? Bye. Go ahead. Vamos a leer individualmente y luego respondemos entre todos. Go ahead. Okay, let me know if you finish, please. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Okay, I need one volunteer to read the first part of the of the text. One volunteer, please. Thank you, Guillermo. From hello. Okay, solo la mitad, from hello until number seven, please. Okay. Go ahead. Hello, my name is Grace Taylor. I'm 11 years old and I'm a student. 
I'm from Australia, but I live in London with my family. My favorite color is pink and my favorite number is seven. Okay, very good. Stephanie, you raised your hand, right? Thank you. Thank you, Guillermo. Now, Stephanie, please, the rest of the, uh, of the text. Uh, this is my friend, Marcos Almeida. He is 11 too. He is from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil and his favorite color is blue. Marcos and I aren't British, but we both speak English. We are in the same class in an, in an international school. In our school, there are boys and girls from different countries. Very good, thank you. Okay, do you have questions about vocabulary from the text? Alguna palabra que no, que sea nueva? Okay, if there is no question. British, please. British. British uh -huh. is nationality. Yes, yes. Okay, it's an, what is the country for British? Do you remember? British is England. England or Great Britain. Great Britain. Okay, Great Britain is the country or England too. And uh, uh, British is the nationality. Es nacionalidad. Okay. Um, ¿Cómo se traduce o qué quiere decir cuando dice but we bought? Eh, ahí después de ah, British. We both speak English. Ambos hablamos inglés. Ese both significa ambos. Este. Ambos. Ambos hablamos inglés. Ok. Thanks. You're welcome. Ok, let's check the questions. Eh, in this case, I'm going to read the questions and as a class, you're going to answer. What is her first name? Grace. 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 Her, her, her first name her, is Grace. Her first name her is Grace. Grace. No, por el espacio no voy a escribirlo todo, but if you want to write the complete sentence, you can do it in your notebook. Her, her name, her first name is Grace. Yes. Is her last name Almeida? No. No. No, she's no right? She's... No, it's not. Wait. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, what is her last name? Taylor. Last name. Uh -huh. Her last name is Taylor. Taylor. Okay. Now, number three. How old is Grace? She's 11 years old. Okay. She's 11. She's 11 years old. Okay, very good. Four. Are Grace and Marcos the same age? Yes, they, yes, they, they are. are. Yes, they are. Remember the short answers, right? Is Grace British? No. Yes. No, she's not. No, she's not. No, she's not. Where is she from? Australia. From Australia. Uh -huh. So she's Australian. She is Australian, okay? Now, is she a student? Yes, yes, yes. She, is. she is. Yes, she is, okay? She is. Now, is Marcos Brazilian? Yes, yes. he is. He is. He is. Let me see. Yes, yes, he is, right? Okay, where in Brazil? He is from Brazil, but where? Where is where in Brazil? From Rio de Janeiro. Aha, uh -huh, from Rio. Rio. Mm -hmm. Now, are they in different classes? No, no they are in the same are. class. No, they are they not, are. or they aren't. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. So, as you can see in this exercise, primero, hemos practicado reading skills, right? Uh, understand written texts, entender textos 
cortos, ok, de acuerdo a su nivel, y contestar preguntas. A la vez estamos practicando WH questions, as you can see, and yes, no questions, with short answers. Esto es algo que siempre vamos a tener que, que estar practicando y recordándonos de la estructura. Es bien importante. Ok, now, uh, do you have questions about the exercise? Questions? Okay, I'll move to the next one. Remember that today it's a review. Okay, in this one, fill in the gaps, you have a conversation. Okay, you have a conversation. Este sí lo vamos a hacer de forma individual primero. Let me just write the numbers here while I explain. As you can see, the conversation is incomplete, right? Some information is missing. En algunos faltan preguntas, en otros la respuesta, all right? En otros la respuesta corta. So depend, depending on the context, okay, you have to write the missing information. Ahí en el contexto le va a ir diciendo qué es lo que le falta. Por ejemplo, acá si dice I'm fine, thanks, and you, le falta una pregunta. Y entonces según la respuesta, ustedes deben de identificar qué le falta, qué pregunta le falta. So I'm going to give you three minutes, three to five minutes to write the questions or the information that is missing in your notebooks. Ya después, ustedes me van a decir para yo completarla en la, en la conversación. Is it clear? Got it? Yes or no? Okay, go ahead.
Let me know if you are ready if you are ready to check, please. Okay, I guess that we are ready to check, right? Let's try to do it together, okay? Si todavía tenemos dudas de alguno, vamos a ir haciéndolo uno por uno y nos detenemos si hay preguntas. Now, in number one, what is the question that is missing there? How are, how are you? you? How are you? How are you? Uh -huh. how are you? Okay, how are you? I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine, thanks, right? And you, porque ahí está la respuesta. Number two, what is the question? What is his last name? What is his last name? Uh -huh. What's his last name? And the, then you have Antonelli. His last name is Antonelli, right? Number three. What is Where the question? Is he Where, from? Where is he from? Uh -huh. Where is he from? Where is he from? Where is Very good. He? He's from Brazil. Number four. He's from. Is he from, is he from Rio de Janeiro? He from. He from. Uh -huh. Is he from Rio de Janeiro too? No. No, he's not. He's not. He's not. That's very good. He's from Sao Paulo. He's nice. How, How old, old is he? he? How old? Is he? Are he? How old is he? Because, ahí está la respuesta, right? He's, he's 12 years old. Okay, now that's it. That's what you have to, or what, that, that is the missing information. Now, I need two volunteers. Just two. No volunteers. <laughs> okay, I have Maritza and Kenny. Then Guillermo, okay. Maritza, you are Marcos. In Kenya, you are Grace. And I am Ronald. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Maritza, you start. Marcos. Mm -hmm. uh, hello, Grace. Pero tiene que hello, Grace. How are you? Hmm? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I am fine too. Look, Ken. Ken is my friend, Ronaldo. Ronaldo? What is, what is his last name? Antoli is last name is Antoli. Where he's from? She's Where from Brazil. From? She's Oops. from Brazil. Permítame, uh, que moví aquí, mo, moví la... Ahí está, okay. He's from Brazil. Mm -hmm. She's from Brazil, but this family is Italian. Italian. 
Is he from Rio de Janeiro too? No. It's not. It is from San Pablo. He's nine. How old is he? He is 20 years old, Ronaldo. Come here, please. This is my friend, Grace. Hi, Grace. Hi, Ronaldo. Okay, very good. Just be careful, Maritza. For example, 12 years old, usted dijo 20, but the number is 12. He is 12 years old. También con la puntuación. Va a ser las pausas, si hay coma, si hay punto, no solo usted, en general. For example, he is 12 years old. De ahí, pausa, and then Ronaldo, come here, please. Okay, and uh, what's the other one? Antonelli. Okay. His last name is Antonelli. His family is Italian. Okay, Italian. Italy is the country. Italian is the nationality. Okay. Now, Guillermo, okay. Guillermo wanted to participate. You're welcome. Guillermo and one more volunteer, please. Guillermo and uh, Carlos. Quiero ver. Ok, Guillermo and Carlos. Eh, Guillermo, you are Marcos and Carlos, you are Grace. Go ahead. Ok. Hello, Grace. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Did you? I'm fine too. Look, that's my friend Ronaldo. Ronaldo? That's his last name. Antonelli. His last name is Antonelli. Where is he from? He's from Brazil. But his family is Italian. Is he from Rio de Janeiro? Hmm? No, he's not. He's from Sao Paulo. He's not. He's 12 years old, Ronaldo. Come here, please. This is my friend Grace. Hi, Grace. Hi, Grace. No, yo iba. Hi, Grace. <laughs> Ahora sí. ¿Quién era Grace? Carlos. Ajá, Carlos. Hi, Ronaldo. <laughs> Arely wanted to participate. No la quiero dejar sin participar, pero I need another volunteer. Arely and Ana. Ana Figueroa, okay. Arely and Ana. Okay, Arely, you are Marcos and Ana, you are Grace. Okay. Hello, Grace. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I am fine too. Look, that, that's my friend Ronaldo. Friend Ronaldo. Ronaldo? What's his last name? Antonelli. His last name is Antonelli. Where is he from? He's from Brazil, but his family is Italian. Is he from Rio de Janeiro too? No, he's not. He is from C.S. Paulo. He's nice. How old is he? He's 12 years old. Ronaldo, uh, come here, please. This is my friend, Grace. Hi, Grace. Hi, Ronaldo. Hi, Ronaldo. Okay, very good. Because of time, we're going to move to the next exercise. Okay. Now, as you can see, once a question structure, WH questions, right? Now, this one. Very... Una pregunta. Yes, Kenya. Cuando uh, dice he's nice, ¿en qué contexto lo diste? <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Cuando usted dice que alguien es nice, es como buena onda. <coughs> eh, entonces, después de todo, es como si le dice que vive en Sao Paulo, entonces le dice como, él es buena onda, algo así. 
Sí, solamente que ahí ya no tiene nada que ver de dónde es, pero ella lo menciona como Ajá. para como a, a dar una opinión de él. Pero sí, un comentario dice, nada más. Ajá, un comentario de ella. He's nice. So, aunque realmente <coughs> asumo yo que, que, que ella se está... Bueno, sí, ¿verdad? Se tiene que referir a él porque dice he's nice. Ok, uh -huh. si dijera it's nice. It's nice. Ahí, uh -huh. Iris, ahí sí se refiere a la situación de que, que él es de, de Sao Paulo. Pero no, ahí en ese uh -huh. contexto es... es, es buen, ah, qué buena onda. Él es buena onda en ese caso. Uh -huh. wow. uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, now we're going to work on this together to practice personal pronouns and, and nationalities. Okay, aquí, rewrite the sentences using personal pronouns and nationalities. Las que, en vez de los nombres, vamos a cambiarlo por los pronombres y la país por nacionalidad. For example, in number one, we are going to do it together. Marcos de Ronaldo are from Brazil. Sería entonces de ahí. They right? Are. There? In the nationality? From. Mm -mm. From? Uh, Brazilian. Brazilian. Uh, Acuérdense que ya en la nacionalidad ya no, es, ya no usamos from. Okay? They are Brazilian. Mary is from France. She is French. She is? Uy. French. She is French. French. Alex and I are from Portugal. We are. Okay. Yeah. Portuguese. Here, Portuguese. 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 Very good. You and Gus are from Germany. They are. You, you are Germans. and Gus. You they are. are. Uh -huh. You are. are. Uh -huh. Porque Germany. you as singular and you as plural es lo mismo. Solo es de ver el contexto. You are. What is the nationality here? German. 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 Mm. No German. Nacionalidades no se pluralizan porque son adjetivos. Entonces, aunque estoy, aunque esté hablando de más de una persona, tengo que siempre usar en singular. You are German, they are Portuguese, ¿ok? Porque son adjetivos. Now, my cat from USA. It's, it's from America. American. American. It's American. Juan Pablo is from Spain. Spanish. 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 Forget that countries and nationalities always go with capital letter, con mayúscula. When she is from China, yo asumo she's, que ella, ¿verdad? Yes. She's, I don't know. She's Chinese. 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 Okay, she's Chinese. She. Okay, When don't forget. Este es otro error común que, usa, que, que cometemos. Y, y al, en la primera vi que, que igual cometimos ese error de no usar el from. Cuando nosotros usamos from, cuando usamos la ciudad del país. They are from Brazil. She is from France. The, we are from Portugal. Pero cuando ya uso la nacionalidad, ya no. Tengo que quitar from. Es, las nacionalidades son adjetivos. Entonces, debo de, eh, es, es una descripción, entonces no necesito from, ¿ok? Cuando es, cuando ocupo nacionalidad, puedo decir, I am from Salvadorian, ¿ok? Es como redundar. Ajá, y no, está, está incorrecto, ¿ok? Only countries, I am Salvador or I am Salvadorian, but I cannot combine from Salvadorian, never, never and never, ¿all right? Now, Let's go to the last exercise. We're going to practice uh, uh, writing, but very quickly, porque ya casi se nos acaba el tiempo. Be, we're going to write a short text, like the one that I have here. I wrote about me. Let me read it. My name is Veronica Serrano. I am 35 years old. ¿Se, ¿se acuerdan que en día uno yo les puse una pequeña descripción de mí? Pero yo dije, no les voy a poner mucho porque eh, no quiero... A dar mucho vocabulario, pero ya ahora y así me siento en la libertad de poderles decir más cosas porque sé que ustedes lo van a entender. Ok, my name is Verónica Serrano. I am 35 years old. I am from El Salvador. I am tall. I have long straight hair. I have brown eyes. I think I am serious and sometimes moody. My favorite color is purple. My favorite food is Mexican food. I don't have a favorite singer or band. 
My phone number is 7066-7701. And my email address is veronica.serrano1006 at email.com. It was a pleasure to meet you all. As you can see, it's a short introduction about myself. And you have to write about, about it too. You have to write about yourself. Con todo el vocabulario y con lo que hemos visto durante el curso, ya podemos hacer una pequeña introducción sobre nosotros. Ok, including name, uh, age, you know, personal, um, a, a physical appearance, personality, phone number, uh, email address, favorites, etc. Ok, so it is your turn. I'm going to give you, bueno, por el tiempo serían unos tres minutos, three, four minutes to write your own composition, okay? Go ahead, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Let me know if you're ready, please. One more minute.
Okay, because of time, uh, we're going to listen to some of you. I don't know if I have volunteers. Someone who wants to read the composition. Maritza, thank you Maritza. Go ahead. Hello, my name is Maritza Rivera. I am 41 years old. Uh, I am short, wind bro, um, age, age. Uh, ojos, teacher, ¿cómo se dice? Eyes. 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 Um, short, wind, brown, eyes. eyes. Mm -hmm. I am oops, my friend tied to read my favorite, my favorite color is black. Y I favorite food is pizza. My phone numbers seven seven Twitter Twitter forty fifty. My email address Marixa to the Rivera. Uh, at Holmey. Dot uh, com. Dot com. Uh, um, please do learn with you. Okay. It was a pleasure. Uh, okay. Uh, to learn uh, with you. Okay. Thank you. Ok, look at, the, look at the chat. Ok, yo iba escribiendo lo que usted iba diciendo. Just remember the pronunciation, my favorite, favorite the pronunciation of ICE. Ok, my email address, la, la dirección la dijo bien, pero la pronunciación address. Ok, and then the last, it was a pleasure to learn with you. Ok, it was a pleasure to learn with you. Ok, very good Maritza, excellent. Now, Valerie, Valerie, you are the last volunteer for this class. Go ahead. Se me fue. No se le escucha. Está, está apagado su micrófono. Ahí está. Uh -huh. My name is Valerie Morales. I am 47 years old. I'm from El Salvador. I have short hair, I have brown eyes, I'm single, I have no children, I love animals, books, and music. I like to sleep. My favorite color is purple. My favorite is potatoes and chicken. I don't like to cook, but I like to eat. Okay. <laughs> okay, me too. I I don't like to cook, but I like to eat. <laughs> okay, very good. Potatoes. Potatoes, the pronunciation. Okay? Potatoes. Very good. Very good, Valerie. Okay, as you can see, now you can uh, give personal information, write about it. No solo escribirla, decirlo también. Okay? Así que eh, bueno, antes de terminar con la clase Every student can learn. Todos, todos podemos aprender. Just not on the same day, in the same way. Todos podemos aprender, pero no todos aprendemos de la misma forma ni, el mismo, ni en el mismo momento. Ok, so don't give up. Don't give up means no, ay, no renuncie. Ok. No abandone su, su objetivo o su sueño. No te rindas. Okay? No te rindas. <laughs> yeah, thank you. No te rindas, ¿ok? Si ya empezó, trate de seguir adelante y de culminar. Eh, felicito a los que el, durante el curso fueron constantes y pues que a pesar que saben que algunos nos cuesta un poquito más que otros, siempre están ahí de voluntarios, siempre quieren participar, siempre quieren... Eh, no, no tienen miedo a, a, a que uno los corrija y eso es lo y eso es lo importante ok que no se queden callados sino que siempre estén involucrándose y tratando de participar 
Así que yo los animo a que sigan así, ¿ok? Y en un futuro podamos coincidir en, en, en algún grupo y pueda tener yo el privilegio de poder ser parte de, Thank you. de su formación académica. It was a, was, Thank you. It was a pleasure and it's nice to meet you, ¿ok? Pero lamentablemente, digamos, <laughs> que en el otro módulo, pues, ya serán nuevo teacher o nueva teacher, I don't know, con nuevos, nuevas experiencias y nuevas cosas que aprender. ¿Ok? Thank you so, very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye